Did you know that TPUs come with different shore hardness ratings, and these will tell you how soft your print ends up being? There is a shore hardness rating, and the lower the number you go, the softer the material is. Polymaker currently offers three different TPU options. We have TPU 90A, TPU 95A, and TPU 95HF. We already covered TPU 95HF in a previous video, but the HF stands for high flow, so this is meant to print at faster speeds. But generally speaking, the softer the material, the slower you're going to have to print. If you've ever tried to print a short hardness of something like 80A, then you know that can be very difficult to print, even at speeds at slow as 30 millimeters per second. Along with needing to print slower, the softer the shore hardness rating, the more that we would recommend using a direct extruder instead of a Bowden setup. Very soft material has a lot of difficulty traveling long distances from your extruder to your hot end, and you're likely gonna end up with issues if you try to print a soft TPU with a Bowden extruder. So you can see here is our TPU 90, and it is extremely soft. It would be amazing for something like a phone case if you want it super soft. But keep in mind, the thicker and more dense you print the part, the less flexible it will be. Here are some shoes printed in that TPU 90, and you can see, even though it's soft, it still requires a little bit of effort as compared to the filament on the strand. For TPU 90, we highly suggest printing slower, around 50 millimeters per second, and using a direct extruder. Here is TPU 95. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but I can definitely feel it is not quite as soft as the TPU 90. And this can print a bit faster than TPU 90. You might be able to print it on a Bowden extruder, but you're gonna have to print very slow. And then our TPU 95 high flow. Again, it's gonna look very similar to you on camera, but it's actually a little bit stiffer than the TPU 95. This is closer to around a 98A short hardness. And as mentioned on the video covering just this material, you could print really fast, 150 millimeters per second with a good direct extruder should be more than possible. And this can even print on a Bowden setup, though you're not gonna be able to get to those speeds. We would suggest something more like 50 millimeters per second. But there you go. Did you know that TPU comes with different shore hardness ratings? The more you know.